they have to record me. All right. Here we go. We bounced on our chairs, set to go. Hands on our knees, looking straight ahead. Let's take a moment to find our breath. Maybe your eyes will close. Maybe it'll just shut just a little bit, or maybe you'll look down at the floor. But my breath is very elusive. Well, it's always in the background. We're driving, reading, we're eating, we're doing all those things. And the breath is behind us, it's in the background. So we want to find it. And you all know that I love to put colors in. Today it's going to be my shirt orange right there. It's the color I'm putting on my breath. I want to notice where does the breath enter the body? How does it get into the body? Does it come through the nostrils? Or through the lungs? We know it's going to go down the bronchial tube. We know it's going to go into the lungs. But where else does it go out? Let's Rib <laughs> Oh, I know. We were trying to find our breath, right? Looking straight ahead. Can you hear me better now? Looking straight ahead, looking for our breath. Uh, adding a color to it so that we can see how it enters the body and where it goes. How it comes out of the body. And now that I've found my breath, I want to observe it. I want to notice what's going on. Like, is it shallow or jagged or is it soft and gentle? Everybody's breath is different. So process that for you. And now that we've made that observation, let's make a let's make a modification to our breath. Let's make our breath a three count on the inhale and a three count on the exhale. So it's one, two, three, inhale, three, two, one, exhale. There we go. Inhale, exhale. So after all that craziness, we're now finding our breath. We've added a color to it. We're finding that it's a three count inhale, a three count exhale. And we're making it soft and gentle, warm and comfortable. Whew, that's a lot, isn't it? So let's work on that a little bit. Let's take our time. I'll be quiet. Soft and gentle, warm and comfortable. One, two, three on the inhale. Three, two, one on the exhale. Great job, everyone. I'd like to invite you to extend that inhale to a five count. And then take that five count to the exhale as well. So we have a one, two, three, four, five on the inhale. Five, four, three, two, one on the exhale. Awesome. There we go, everybody. Go ahead. So the breath is soft and gentle, it's warm and comfortable, it's just bigger than the breath that we just finished. It's more robust, it's fuller, it's still soft and gentle. There we go. Good job, everybody. One 
more time on that exhale. Let's let the breath return to three count. One, two, three, three, two, one. Maybe we open our eyes, we shake our fingers out a little bit. Oh, okay. Gentle, easy going breath to start with. Fuller breath, bigger, more oxygen exchange, more air moving in and out. Much better for our heart. We may have coughed a little bit today, or we might have felt a little bit, oh, maybe I'm a little bit more alive right now. Who knows? But uh, we're going to go from there. Okay, let's do a little bit of neck work. You still all can hear me? Yes. Good. Yes. Good, good, good. Thank you. And soft and comfortable, gentle landing. Inhale up. Exhale down. Uh, Inhale up. And you know, we're going to that point of resistance, right? It's not pain. Like we just know, hey, the body's telling us, stop here. This is good. Now that's where we play. There we go. And then we're going to inhale back to center. And then on the exhale, we're going to look out over the left shoulder. Inhaling back to center, looking, exhaling out over the right shoulder. We're going to do this at your rate. You don't need to keep up with me. I don't need to keep up with you. But we do want to notice how that feels on both sides. My observation is that I can get deeper on my left side right now and not so deep on my right side. That brings in one of the really key points of yoga, which is that we can observe and we should observe what's going on in our body, but we shouldn't judge. There we go. Oh, great. Back to center, shake your hands out. It's really important to remember that we're just observing our body because we want to make it better, but don't judge ourselves. I know a lot of people that are really good at that. You know, oh, darn you, why didn't you do that? And you know, we don't need to do that. Uh, hands on opposite shoulders. There we go. We're comfortable there. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold our shoulders down with our hands, and then we're going to, on the exhale, drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Woo. We're going to inhale back to center, and then we're going to drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. There's so many neck muscles. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good. Wonderful. The hands are on the shoulders just to keep them down. You know, we're all, otherwise I would be trying to reach that left shoulder up towards that left ear. There we go. Let's do another one. Good rotation, everybody. We'll shake our hands out a little bit. We're going to put them right back up here. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to do this great neck roll. Oh. Awesome. And then we're going to go in the opposite direction. Cool. Shake it off, everybody. Whew. I'm going to get a little closer because I want to show you something. You know, we talk about our breath, about it being equal. We talk about it being soft and gentle. We talk about, but there are different kinds of this, right? So we did, if I'm not mistaken, a while back, a month or so ago, we did alternate nostril breathing. 
mm -hmm. right? Pinched off one nostril. That is a great breath. Okay, that is an incredible breath for clearing out the sinuses to get things moving up there when you feel congested. It works really well. You know, you put the two fingers there and you pinch this. And that. Today we're going to do victory breath. Okay, and and it's I, I'll let you tell me. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do a fairly short inhale through the nostrils, and then we're going to go. <sighs> Prana moving, asana moving, maybe a little calming in about a minute. Not right now, right? Because we're going, <laughs> right? I feel like I'm running out. I'm being chased by a dog kind of thing. But what that does is that begins this prana, this breath, this energy that's flowing through our body. It's another way of just stimulating that and saying that. So, you know, some days I'll do it. Like if I get up one morning and I'm really, really sluggish, it's like, why well, I don't want to get up. I want to, I'll go, <sighs> and it's like, okay, I can go a little bit, you know, see what happens. So that was victory breath. All right. We'll try it at the very end again uh, before we're done. Just so we can kind of play with it a little bit. All right. We're going back to where we were. I'm still trying to speak loud. Hopefully that's coming across. And we're going to go to shoulder rolls. All right. So what do we do? Sit up straight, make sure we're anchored with the six stones. Look at straight ahead. And I'm going to inhale the shoulders up and then the roll. Such a good move. It's so the some of the stuff is so simple. It's just it's just like wow. Why didn't I think of that? Then I could have wrote a book and did the book. There we go. One more time. And remember, we're playing in that area of, of resistance, right? Of that we can feel it, but but we're not putting ourselves in any kind of pain. All right. Inhale the shoulders up and then roll the boat. There we go. Nice. One more. Good. A little bit of shake out there. Yeah. Backstroke. So the right hand comes up on the left shoulder, right there, just to keep the shoulder a little from, from you know, like getting really crazy. On the inhale, up comes the arm, the palm rolls out, and then it just rolls back wherever it wants to go. You're feeling resistance, but you're not feeling pain. There we go. Yeah. Nice. There we go. And let's take that left hand and put it on the front of the right shoulder for the same purpose and off it comes. I can really notice a difference from one side to the other. And that's very, very common. It's very usual, I think. There we go. Just let everything be back. Good. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. One more time. Okay, good. Reach out for the baby. Okay, reach all the way out. Drop your elbows six inches. This is the inhale of locomotive. Okay, that's the inhale. On the exhale, we bring the elbows back towards our trunk. Right? It's, I got it back here. And when I get back there, I'm going to pinch the shoulder blades together on the exhale. Inhale out, exhale. Out on the inhale, exhale back. Oh. Boy, this feels good. I love doing this one when we're driving. Stephanie and I stop on our way to Columbia, Maryland, just to visit our nephews and nieces. 
which are long for other long. I'll, I'll just do this one outside the car for just a minute. Sure. I'll do it five or six times. And it's like, okay, I can get across the bridge without screaming and yelling. And there we go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Look up. Oh, wonderful. Look down. Shake it out, everybody. Good. Here we go. I'm going to turn it at an angle so you can see the, the twist that we're going to put into this one. Okay. Here we go. So, comfortably seated, remembering that I have a string coming out of the top of my head so that I have good posture. So, what we're doing with good posture is we are giving the, the, the vertebrae a break. Okay. We're just giving out a little bit of space there. Cool. So, intertwine my fingers, but I keep the index finger pointed. And I'm going to put it on the right side, the outside of my right knee. So the inhale is two part. It's rise up and twist. That's it. And then exhale, down it comes. Rise up and twist. Exhale, outside. Rise up and twist. Exhale. There you go. It's just nice and easy. Remember to keep your feet and your knees kind of stable. All right, firmly planted on the ground that way. Because what happens if you start to swivel in your seat? We don't get the full twist in that we're really looking for. Let's do one more. Uh, twist. There you go. Great job, everybody. Let me let Janet back in. Hold on. Where are you, Janet? There you go. There you go. Great. Wonderful. Excellent. That is fantastic. You did good work there. All right. One of my favorites. All right. Welcome back, Jim. All right. One of my favorites is, is half-seated eagle. I just really like the way this opens up my shoulders. So the right hand comes up, the tricep, which is this muscle, is sort of parallel. And you're going to bring that left hand over. Okay? Like this. And, and, and it's going to be you know, this is this is your call, your thing. If it comes to here and that's what you got today, that's great. If it'll come under, that's great. If you want to put it over, that's great. Wherever you want it to be, just so that when we inhale, we lift the elbows up like I'm doing right now. Oh, man, doesn't this just open things up? And then exhale. I'm still looking straight ahead. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, down comes the elbows, they stay close together. So if you're doing it like this, right, just lift as far as you can with the elbows staying together and then let it come down. When we do this, when we let the elbows flare out, we, we just move the stretch. So keep elbows together and down. Oh, yeah. And up. Uh, and uh, great job, everyone. Shake it out. For those of us who are crossing over, so we have to do the other side, okay? If your elbows are together, it'll just be a repetition of what we just did. So the left hand comes up. The tricep is here. Maybe on this side, it'll work. Maybe you'll be able to get the two together. Maybe not. It's all right. Whatever we got, there we go. Up. Oh, and down. And up. And down. And up. And down. And up. Hold it. And where's the eagle part? Right here. There we go. Shake it out, everybody. Ooh. I don't remind people of that. Somebody will send me a note and say, hey, where's the eagle part? Okay. Overhead side stretch. We're going to do the upper rib cage. We're going to do, actually, we're going to do the armpit. Right? We're going to do the armpit. This is where we're going to get the nice stretch in. Right hand attached to. Feet comfortable. Flat soles. Inhale that left hand up. And again, we're back to your comfort. Nina, you, you're just on fire today. 
you're like way over here, which is great. Our goal is to get on top of our head if we can, but if this is where we're at, that's great. And then our stretch becomes this, right? We're looking to put that stretch in this area. If you can get the hand up a little further, that's awesome. All right. The one thing that we want to shy away from is doing this. See how I just shifted in the chair and then the stretch is somewhere else. We want that stretch to be up here. There we go. And then down it comes. And then we're going to inhale up. And down it comes. And we're going to inhale up. And down it comes. Great job, everybody. Shake it out. So also the other thing to remember on this pose is wherever it fits comfortably front to back, because it's just not a side stretch. If where you're at is here with your hand in front, that's good. If you want it, if it'll come a little higher, that's great too. We don't want it to be back here because it throws the stretch into a back point to itself. Your call, your decision. Go into the right side. Left hand grabbing. And down. Up. And down. Great job, everybody. You guys are awesome. And down. And up. Hold it there. Down we come. Cool. Shake it out. This is a really good time to shake. There, just like that. Woo, I love it. Okay, uh, seated twist. This we're just working our way right down the right down the rib cage, which means we're working right down the spine. You got it, Janet. You know what we're doing. I can see you moving there. All right. Okay. Right hand goes on the left knee. Left hand comes up like we're going to do a left hand shake. Straight up. And now we're going to follow the left thumb as it opens to the side and goes back. See how we just moved that twist down into the mid cage? And then we're going to exhale and we're going to come back. We're going to cross the center line a little bit. I'm still looking at that left thumb and then we're going to inhale. I'm, I got both sits bones on the chair. And back. Inhaling back. I'm watching that left thumb. And back one more time. See how far across we can go. And left hand comes down on the right knee. The right hand comes up for the shake. And we're going to watch that right thumb as it travels back. And then we're going to have it come forward on the exhale. It's going to cross center line for a little bit. It doesn't go very far, does it? You want to keep that elbow straight. There we go. Straight arm. Watching the right thumb. Oh, yeah. Back. Nice and easy. Not like we're swatting flies here or anything. One more time. We're going to come back to center line, and the right hand is going to fall down on top of the left knee. I am going to look down at both knees. And then on the inhale, I'm going to look up. Down. And then I'm going to look up. And I'm going to look down. And I'm going to look up. All right, let's shake our hands out. We're going to come back to center. Look, oh, uh, yeah, I love it. Sweet. And you know what I think we should do? I think we should throw that breath in one more time. Victorious breath, victory breath, whatever you want to call it, right? So what is it? It's a, it's a short, relatively short inhale through the nostrils. And then, oh, oh, that, oh, that, that's it. You got it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Great job, everybody. Did anybody get dizzy? 
Uh, you know, it's one of those things like, oh, oh hold on here. Why do we do the ha? Huh? The ha huh actually lets us get a little of that. You know, the, the, the lungs are really long, right? They, they start all the way up here and they come all the way down to the root cage. And it lets us get that last little bit down here at the bottom of the lung. It's like a uh, out. So we're just trying to move air. That's what we're doing. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, oh, the knee lifts. Okay. Love these. They've been really, really good. There are two. There's one and then there's one plus. Okay. So what we're doing is we're sitting very comfortably. Right. And what we're going to do on the exhale, we're going to start with the exhale this time. On the exhale, we're going to lift that left knee up and we're going to grab it with both hands and then we're going to pull it up as high as we can, but we're still looking straight ahead. Right? There you go. That's the exhale. And then the inhale is back up. A lot going on on that exhale, right? And you know what we're doing. We're going deep into the hip, right? That's, what, that's where this stretch is coming. Actually, the the hamstrings sometimes, or the hip flexor. There we go. So you might feel it technically where the hamstring attaches to your pelvis. You might you might feel that stretch right there. And then we're going to go to the other side. Exhale, right? Lift the leg up, grab it with both hands, bring it up high. And then probably notice a difference here, right? more time. I think I'm stiffer on this side than I am on the other. All that and that. So we're going back to the original, the original lift. Okay. Up on the exhale, grab it with both hands, bring it as high as you can. And now we we want to roll into this. Oh. Inhale back down. Look straight at it. Up, lift. Grab, lift, high, roll in. Look at the knee. Inhale down. Vision comes to straight ahead. Hold that roll in part to the very end. There we go. Great job, everybody. Let's go to the other one, okay? Exhale. Lift, grab both. Grab the knee with both hands, get it as high as you can, and then roll into it. Down on the inhale, look straight ahead. There we go. So we're adding a little stretch to the lower back here. And we do one more on this side, just to kind of balance everything out. Nice, 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 nice. And down. Great job, everybody. Shake it off. This is a good time for a helicopter, right? We just kind of go like this. Oh, yeah. The breath gets the blood moving. And we're just like, hey. Inhale, sun salute. All the way up. Look up there, right? Okay, and on the exhale, let's come down to other earth. Inhale up, sun salute. Exhale down to Mother Earth. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Sun salute. Let the fingertips touch. Bring your thumb down to the middle of your forehead. Then let it touch your chin. And let it rest comfortably near your heart, pushing the palms together, elbows come up. Go ahead and close your eyes. Watch your breath. Nice job, everybody. Gently open your eyes. Shake your fingers out just a little bit. We're going to come up and we're going to do our cat and cow. Okay. Oh, look at the 
share the seat. That's where we want to be. All right. Next count. Human staple, baby. Hands are down on the chair. I'm going to walk my legs back. So I want to, there we go. So it's a straight line as best we can, up, across, and down. And what are we going to do? We're going to inhale and look up at the wall in front of us. And then on the exhale, we're just going to arch our back like the Halloween cat. Oh. Inhale up. This is cow. <coughs> Exhale, following cat. I love it when we cough. That lets me know that we are moving air in and out of the lungs. And it is working. <coughs> Up. Down. Okay, everybody's doing great. This time, come to cow. And let's go ahead and put our left foot back. It can touch the floor, it's not a problem. And then on the exhale, I'm going to look down at that left knee and bring that left knee in towards my left. Inhale back out, looking at the wall in front of me, extending my left leg back. Exhale. Right, left knee comes in, and I look, oh, yeah. Back out. One more time. And we're going to go ahead and put that left foot down next to the right foot. Okay, bend your knees. Left hand on the left knee, right hand on the right knee. Let's come up to a standing pose. Shake out your hands up to a T. Roll your wrist. Opposite direction. Great. Back down to staple. Look up at the wall in front. Right foot goes back. Can be sitting on the mat. It's not a problem. In fact, it's not. A problem. All right. We're going to exhale. We're going to bring that left knee in towards the heart. We're going to, I'm sorry, the right knee in towards the heart. We're going to look down at the right knee. And then on the inhale, I'm going to look out at the wall in front of me. Right foot back. Exhale. Right Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And wonderful. Put that right foot down next to the left foot. Okay, we're going to do something here. We're going to add tippy toes. Oh, so I'm going to look. I'm looking down at the seat. Okay, other chair, but I'm on my tippy toes. And I can make the movement, whatever I want to do in terms of adjustment. That's good. There we go. So, once you get comfortable, okay, take your left foot, put it out to the side. Bring it back in, put your right foot out to the side. Uh, you guys thought it, we weren't going to dance in this class, didn't you? Huh? We're just doing a little lateral stretch here with that. More time. So on our tippy toes, right? Okay, good. Bend your knees. Left hand on the left knee, right hand on the right knee. Up and we come. Some salute. Fingertips touch. Bring that thumb down to your forehead, to your chin. Let it rest comfortably near your heart. Push the palms together for your balance. Watch your breath. Great job, everybody. Shake it off. All right, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do our mountain pose and our tree. So you guys know I'm you know I teach on the second floor, right? So I'm looking out where I'm looking right now is the the new uh, BB uh, surgical robotic surgery department. And there are, I don't know, there are a thousand snow geese flying around mm -hmm. by the window, going over the parking lot, trying to land in that field. It's just pretty funny. 
actually is quite distracting. You know, you're supposed to pay attention. Linda, so I apologize. All right, everybody. Mountain pose. Here we go. Right? Mountain pose. It's about grounding yourself into the earth. So from the waist down, we are grinding. We're not grinding. We're grounding. Grounding down. We're putting pressure on the balls of the feet, the heels of the feet, the outsides, the insides, so that I can look straight ahead. I can inhale. All right, a little bit of elevation there when I do that, right? I inhale just a little bit. And then when I exhale, okay, what I want to do is let the air out, but I want to keep the height of that pose. So just let the air out. Good job, Janet. Good. Let the air out. Now inhale, we're going to go right back up again. Maybe we get a little bit more stretch there. Okay, Nina, good. Exhale, hold the height of the pose. Good, Sharon. Good. Yes, Sharon teaches me every week. I'm having your balance with the chair is what this is about. Okay, you don't have to. Whatever works for us. Great. Excellent. Holding the chair, making sure that it's working for us so that we are safe. Still focusing on that breath. In it goes, out it comes, holding the height of the pose. All right, on that next exhale, there we go. Oh, go ahead, let your shoulders slump. Great. We're going to go right back up to mountain pose, right? And now we're going to see how we're doing balance box. Okay, can you lift your right heel is my question. I'm holding on to the chair with my left hand. And I'm going to lift my right heel, and then I'm going to I'm going to make an observation. All right. Well, 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 how's that going? Why am I safe? All right. If I'm safe, can I lift my whole right foot up? Maybe I can't, and I'm okay with that. Hold on to the chair. All right. Hold on to the chair. Make that move. Whatever you want to do. We're looking for balance here. There are two things to remember. I need you to breathe. I need you to look straight ahead. Janet, you got that perfect. Ellen, you, you're looking straight ahead. It's perfect. That's it. Just nice and easy. Okay, good. Whatever happens, happens. And then there's this, there's this whole thing in terms of balance. Like, you see what I do, what I just did? Because I'm following Janet, because Janet lifted her hands up. Because she's getting balanced by using her hands like that. Good, Ellen, good. Great, wonderful. You know, that is just about seeking balance, trying to figure out and remembering to breathe. You can't forget to breathe. That's really important. Uh, and out we come, gracefully. Okay. Let's do the other side, all right? One side is going to be better than the other, right? We know that. So here we go. First, we go to mountain pose. Balls of the feet, heels of the feet, outside the insides of the feet, right? There we go. I'll turn sideways. There we go. Don't got my chair. Can I lift my left heel? Am I okay? And then if that's where you're at today, and that's where you feel like, okay, I'm right on the edge here. I don't want to get too crazy. Perfect. But maybe you want to put that left foot on top of the right. It's up to you. Maybe that right hand comes up. There. I don't know. Looking straight ahead. Breathing. And out we come, Grace. So why do we look straight ahead when we balance? Because watch what happens when I do this. I'm going to try to look up. I'm going to look like, am I up sitting, standing up straight? Do I look like I'm standing up straight? Okay, good. The minute that I take my head and move it down to look at my feet, my whole line of balance just shifted forward. So now I've got a fight. Okay, and my core, my back muscles have got to fight the core muscles, all right, to keep me upright. So looking straight ahead, right, is so much easier to balance than when I'm looking down at my feet. Just a thought. Hey, it's Shavasana time, everybody. You have done amazing work. All right, we're going to get in a comfortable seated pose. 
just sit down and relax. I'm going to throw a little music on here. Just for a minute. There we go. Anywhere you want to be. You can have your forehead, you know, you can have your wherever. A lot of times I'll put my forearms on my knees or on my thighs. I'll rest my uh, rest my forehead and my palms on my hand. So in Shavasana, a couple things happen. You get to take a moment and realize that you did good today. You did great. You showed up and we tried. Your body is putting muscles. The body is putting the body muscles are putting things into memory. When we do them next week, it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be a little bit easier. Mm. Great job, everybody. Shavasana is a great way to end the day. Maybe if it's been a stressful day, kind of been hard, maybe the thing to do is to uh, just sit down quietly, put a little music on at the end of the day. And just know that you did good. You showed up and we tried. our fingers and toes and welcome ourselves back to the mat. We take all the time we need. We're just going to get to a comfortable seat and pose here for a minute. I'm going to bring you back onto my screen. Uh, I always feel guilty when, when my Shavasana runs a little short on time and, and, and Sharon gets down and she gets so comfortable into that seated or that reclining pose of hers. And then I always feel guilty about waking her up. <laughs> That's okay, I go back. <laughs> My friends, it's been so much fun being with you today. Thank you so very much for being here. Okay, good to see Thank you. you. Bring, your, bring your friends if you want to. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Namaste. 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 Namaste.